Hey friends, it's me, Pastor Doug, with another one minute word of encouragement for the day for today, Tuesday, July 7th. And today's word comes out of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16, 17, and 18. And in it, we're gonna explore one of the themes that Pastor Parker talked about last Sunday, about uh, how to deal with our suffering, our trials, our difficult circumstances. Listen to what Paul writes here to the Corinthian church. He says, therefore, we do not lose heart. Although outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary and what is unseen is eternal. Friends, when I read this passage, um, I almost get offended at what Paul says in verse 17. He says, for our light and momentary troubles. And I read that and I think to myself, dude, my troubles are not light. Like how dare you call them light and momentary? Like I think of what's happening in our world. I think of what's happening in the US. I think of what's happening in the lives of so many people that I love and care about. And, and, and probably in your life too, you think of some of the things that you're going through or some of the things that people you love are facing. And you think those things aren't light. They don't feel momentary. Friends, we need to remember when Paul was writing this letter. He was writing it right around 55 AD, which is right in the middle of when Nero was the Roman emperor. And if you know anything about uh, history, you know that the Roman emperor Nero was brutal in his treatment of the Christians. So Paul, as a Christian, ends up dying at the hands of Nero later on. He's writing to people who are having their families ripped apart by Nero's sort of inquisition um, into the Christian church. So he's writing to people that are going through really difficult circumstances as well, just like you and I are. But he says this, he says, our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. What Paul is really getting at is he's saying, listen, all this stuff that we're facing, these difficult trials and circumstances, in light of eternity, when you get to the point where you can see these circumstances through the lens of eternity, you're going to realize that there is a glory that is waiting for us that far outweighs anything we experience on this earthly life. So friends, may you be encouraged to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus because what's happening here is temporary. But our relationship with Jesus and the life that he invites us to is eternal. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.